Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And to anyone that is new here, hi, my name is Christy. I'm a personal stylist that helps women rise through style. Now today I wanted to share with you my top tips for switching out your closet seasonally. A lot of us that are in cooler climates are finally starting to get some of that warm weather and we're approaching the time where we are going to swap out our closet, pack away some of these seasonal items like thick, heavy sweaters, and start transitioning into one that is a little bit more summer oriented. Now, if any of you are looking for help with your closet, I do have a workbook, my closet clarity workbook that will help you go through your closet as well. It's $20 and I will leave the link for that in case you want it down below. Now, the first tip I have for when you're going through your closet to pack away things seasonally is to evaluate what you have before you pack it away. So you want to make sure that anything you are considering packing that is seasonal, so maybe it is uh, something that's a corduroy based pant or skirt, or maybe you have really thick, heavy knits that you want to pack away. Evaluate how you feel about them before you do so. Things that get packed away should be items that got a lot of love, that you were happy to wear, that resonated with you in terms of your style, and that you felt good when wearing. One of the mistakes I see people do all the time is they start packing away everything that's seasonal without thinking about whether they actually use that item. And that sort of perpetuates the cycle of keeping things just in case you might wear them again one day. And before you know it, you've held on to the same item that you've never worn for three or four years and it just doesn't make any sense. So this is something that I even practice for myself. I go through my seasonal pieces and really evaluate how much I use that item. If it was something that I really, really loved to wear, then it definitely will get packed away for future use. But if it's something that I really didn't choose to wear, I really take the time to ask myself why and see if it's that I didn't like the fit, does something need to be fixed? Is it just not my style anymore? And I make sure that if it does get packed away, it's something I know I will use rather than just keeping it because I feel like I might just use it again someday down the line. Now, my next tip for when you're swapping out your clothing seasonally is to evaluate the items you plan on putting in your closet. Now, I know a lot of the time we pull out these big Rubbermaid containers and they're filled with clothing that we can't wait to wear for the season and we are so quick to hang everything up. So my next tip regarding that is to first ask yourself how you will style the pieces that you plan on using this season. Now this can seem like a lot of extra work, but it will help you get clarity on where you feel these pieces resonate with you when it comes to your style. Sometimes we do evolve past the pieces that we once wore and loved, and we may have something that you stowed away that you've, you know, you're looking at again and thinking, oh, like, I don't really know that that's me anymore. And this is never a bad thing, but it's a good opportunity for you to think about ways that you may be able to style it to make it feel more fresh for yourself again. And if not, consider whether it's worth hanging up or whether you should maybe entertain potentially donating it or consigning it because you don't want to have something just hanging in your closet for the sake of, because again, that will become something that you keep just in case you may use it again. And sometimes it just requires us being a little bit more honest with ourselves about where we feel we're at with our style. We do evolve in our style. Our tastes evolve as we do. So there are just some pieces that we will outgrow. It's not a bad thing. So before you go and put that piece in your closet, make sure that it's not going to be a clutter item. Make sure it's something that still speaks to you. So I like to mentally go through each piece and evaluate how I will style it three ways to ensure that this piece is going to serve me when it's in my closet for that season. Now the next tip to consider when either putting something away or bringing something out of the storage bin for the season is to look at whether something needs a little TLC or a little bit of altering. Sometimes there may just be things that we miss before we pack something away or when we're pulling something out and we may suddenly find a stain or a loose thread or something that's pulling a little bit or maybe the piece in question doesn't quite fit us the same way it used to. I know for me, for example, I have a lot of dresses from last summer that don't fit my shape anymore just because I'd lost a lot of weight. So rather than hanging those pieces up 
and staring at them in my closet and not knowing I can't wear them, I've decided not to put them in my closet and I've put them in a bag separate from everything else that I know I'm going to take to my local seamstress as soon as everything opens up again so that I can alter those pieces and make use of them rather than just leaving them hanging in my closet and staring at something that I can't actually wear because it just creates clutter. And I always suggest to my clients and all of you that you want to have a true picture of what you're actually working with in your closet. So keeping things hung up that you can't put on your body right now is not helpful, right? It just creates the I have nothing to wear syndrome in the morning because you're literally staring at things that you can't put on your body. Now, my next tip for changing your closet out seasonally is to make a list of what you need. So now that you have unpacked a lot of your things, you've gone through whether they need some TLC or not, and you've you know hung up some of your new items for the season, you want to evaluate what gaps you may have. And this is something I talk about all the time on my channel, but you know, again, our style evolves as we do. So if you're looking at something and thinking, gosh, I've been really inspired by wide leg white trousers this season, I would love something like that in my closet. And it's not something you have. This is a great opportunity for you to add this to your shopping list and now be more strategic in how you are building your closet going forward for your style. When we do this, we get more intentional with our shopping and ensure that our dollar's going in a place that serves us and will ensure that we're going to wear this item in question in future going forward because we've thought through the purchase beforehand. So again, if you're craving something in your closet, I always think, think of three ways that you're gonna style it with other pieces you already have in your closet in a way that makes you feel good with your style to ensure you're gonna get a lot of versatility and use out of the piece in question. This will also help you get a lot of clarity and potentially stop a lot of frivolous shopping that may not serve you or cause regret in the long run as well. My next tip on that note is to also keep out one or two sweaters even though we're in warm weather season. Now, the reason I recommend this is because let's be honest, air conditioning can be freezing sometimes if you're working in an office, maybe even at home, sometimes you just have a chill and you need to wrap yourself up in something. So I always like to keep one or two sweaters at hand that I can grab if I am feeling a little chilly. So what I usually recommend is to keep a longer style cardigan. Usually that cuts around the knee. You can do a full like maxi length cardigan if you want. I like these because they both go with shorts really effortlessly, but they also look really great with dresses because they tend to match the length of a shorter or longer style dress, which is what I really love. And then the other option that I always consider keeping hung around is either something like a denim jacket, because I feel like these can be worn all year round, um, or a shorter style cardigan, because again, that crop length will compete with proportions when it comes to shorts or skirts or dresses. And again, it's still something nice and easy that you can drape over your shoulders for a little bit of warmth and coziness when you need it. And then my last tip for switching at your closet seasonally is to look at your coats and shoes. Also, they tend to be forgotten by a lot of people and you wanna switch out your footwear as well. So yes, you're gonna embrace more sandals, you're gonna embrace more open-toed footwear potentially, more slides, mules, etc. But it's also good when you're looking at your boots and things that you use during the fall winter time, where do they also need some TLC? This is an opportunity for you to condition the leathers, for you to look at whether the soles of your shoes need some repair. So again, you can take them to a cobbler when it's off season, when you're not in dire need of them. And then same thing for your coats and jackets. Do they need some TLC? Do they need to be taken to the dry cleaner after the season has been done? Look at the things that need some care. The more we give extra attention to the pieces that we've invested in, the longer they are going to last us and the more your dollar is going to stretch because you've taken care of the pieces that you've put your hard earned dollar behind. And because you're not currently needing them in this summer season that we're heading into, it is a beautiful opportunity to not feel stressed about having to get it done right away because you need these items in your arsenal for your clothing right now. And you'll know that when you do go to reach for them, once the cooler weather does again come around, everything will be beautifully taken care of. It'll feel fresh again, and it will be ready for use when you want it. 
Anyway, my angels, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you need any help with your closet, my $20 Closet Clarity Workbook is down below in case you're interested. Or if you want more style exercises on how to really see the potential in your closet and you want to really know how to create more outfits out of what you already have, my Jumpstart Your Style program is also listed down below. It's a really affordable, fun class, and I will leave the info there for you in case you need it. And other than that, my angels, I'm sending you all the love to the moon and back, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.